watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and we welcome you today. I tell you what, things are really heating up here in South Louisiana. <laughs> I tell you, it, it is just amazing how warm it is. But I know it's not just here. It's all over the nation right now. And uh, we, uh, we, we want to say we're enjoying the hot weather, but it's kind of difficult <laughs> to enjoy it. It is just so hot around here. I'm just thankful for good old air conditioning. And uh, so we do our best to try to keep that going. So we're so glad that you've tuned in today. I heard a joke the other day, you know, about that uh, it was so hot out there, somebody saw the birds using potholders to get the worms out of the ground now. And I said, yeah, that is pretty hot. <laughs> that is pretty hot. But you know, it reminds me how thankful that I am that I'm not going to hell because it's a whole lot hotter down there. <laughs> Aren't you thankful for that? I'm going to continue on our program today talking about lessons from Noah. I've been on this subject for quite some time because as I continue to study on it, the Lord just continues uh, giving me more and more on this. And as I continue to look at the life of Noah and seeing how he lived, and uh, that helps us to show us how we should live in the end times because he was living in his end times before the judgment of the flood. And we're living in our end times and the Bible tells that God is going to judge this world. You read about it in the book of Revelation. But I'm thankful that we can miss that judgment because we've accepted him as our Savior and Lord. And Jesus took our judgment on the cross. But it's our uh, very, very uh, important job to tell others that a storm is coming, judgment is coming, and it's time to get ready. So I'm going to invite you in a few moments back into the sanctuary here at the Good News Fellowship Church as I continue on this message. But first of all, I'm going to share a song with you off of the Master of the Wind CD. I've been sharing some songs with you off of that. And this one's entitled John 316, a good old testimony song written by James Payne. I really like this song, and I trust it will be a blessing to you. So get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and let them know the Good News program is on right now, and they don't want to miss it. And so I want you to enjoy this song, this teaching segment, and then I'll be back right after that to say a special prayer for you and your family. Stay tuned now. I remember the night at the end of my road. A motel in Nashville searching for hope. In my hand was a Bible I read as a child. On the table, a bottle that was driving me wild. I poured the whiskey into the glass then I prayed it would help me forget my past then I read how Jesus he died on a tree then I poured out the whiskey fell down on my knee that night old Jack Daniel met John 316 God's word broke that hole that it had over me I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree that night old Jack Daniels met John 316 Aren't you thankful for the delivering power of God tonight? 
He can set every person free. Now when I see those old friends that I used to know down by that old place where I used to go, they tell me I'm different than I used to be. Oh, then I love to tell them what happened to me. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 3.16. God's word broke that hole that it had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree. That night, old Jack Daniels John 316 That night old Jack Daniels May John 316 Yes, amen. Thank God for his delivering power. Amen. Now, why is proclaiming the gospel so important? Because you can't be saved without hearing it and responding to it. Amen? Proclaiming the message is our part. The response is theirs. Romans 10, 14 says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? And as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of, get this, good things. Isn't that what the Spirit said earlier? Good things, goodness. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Amen? Good things. Who bring tidings of good things, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. Oh, don't you love that? How beautiful are the feet of those who preach or proclaim the good news of peace. Just look at your feet and say, you beautiful. You beautiful. You beautiful. Amen. Look at your feet right now. Amen. That's what it said. Beautiful are the feet. Glory to God. You didn't know you had beautiful feet, did you? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing. How's it come? Hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that's why we got to keep proclaiming the message. Because there's somebody that ain't heard yet. Amen. You got to hear it. Yeah, it reminds me of this, uh, uh, this grandpa was driving along in his car and he had his wife was driving in the back seat and uh, she kept telling him, you know, she wanted him to go to the doctor because something's wrong with his hearing. And he said, no, there ain't nothing wrong with my hearing. No, no, no. And she was just fussing in the back seat, and she flew around and, and hit the arm of the door, and it opened up, and she fell out. <laughs> well, about a mile on down the road, the police stopped him. And they said, sir, what's wrong with you? And he said, what are you talking about? He said, well, we found your wife about a mile down the road. She must have fell out of the car. He said, oh, thank God, I thought my hearing had left me. <laughs> oh, I almost drowned right there. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. 
And it just popped up in my mind. I, I, I'd have no idea where that come from. <laughs> so then faith comes by hearing. That's why I said that. Faith, you got to hear the gospel message and then respond. Amen. That's why we preach the gospel. It's not us that saves people, but as we preach the word, the Holy Spirit goes into action, and he convicts the heart, and he draws the person to Christ. But it's like we're in partnership. Amen. We simply speak the message, and the Holy Spirit is working. Amen. But we got to speak it. We got to proclaim it. We must be involved in getting the gospel out in these last days. If you're not doing it yourself, you need to be helping somebody else. If you're not going yourself, you need to be sending somebody else. Amen. You can do this by supporting our outreach ministries, such as the TV and radio ministries, because we have the opportunity to go into millions of households every week. Hallelujah. Now, here's a fact. Judgment is coming on this earth, and the only way to escape that judgment is to accept Jesus as your Savior and Lord. All that reject Christ will stand before God on judgment day and give an account for themselves. The only way to miss that appointment is to accept Jesus Christ. And that's what we declare. That's what we proclaim. There's a storm coming. Get ready. There's judgment coming. Get ready. The door of the ark is still open. Come on in. Amen. Many have heard the message, but they haven't responded yet. That's why we got to keep on declaring it. Amen? The disciples asked Jesus, what will it be like? What will be the sign of the end of the age, Jesus? And Jesus said this, one thing out of several. He said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations. This is Matthew 24, 14. And then the end will come. Now, you can't get any plainer than that. Amen. I know when Jesus is coming back. When the last person has heard the message. When the last person has responded then the father will look at Jesus and say, son, now it's time. Go get my children. Now it's time. Go get the church. Amen. Because it's time for the marriage supper of the lamb. Amen. You're going to hear that trumpet sound. You're going to hear the voice of the archangel. And somebody said, what is he going to say? Well, it doesn't say, but he'll probably say like he did with Lazarus. Come forth. Amen. My church, my people, come forth. And then your feet better start leaving off the ground. <laughs> if they're not, you in trouble. <laughs> Amen. And like Dale Way said, you can have my Harley. You can have my car keys. They in there hanging on the wall. You can have everything because I'm out of here. Amen. I'm out of here. Now, why hasn't Jesus returned yet once again? There's still someone that needs to hear. Someone else needs to hear. Do you know someone that needs to hear? Well, then you may want to pray about, well, you don't have to pray about it. You need to tell them. But, you know, pray about, Lord, how can I reach this person? How can I share with this person? Some people you can talk to. Some people you can hand them a track. Amen. And different ways that you can share Jesus with us. Sometimes just share your testimony. You don't have to be a preacher. Just share what he's done in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching, talking about lessons from Noah, how to live in these last days. Yes, Noah, he proclaimed the good news that there is judgment coming, but you can miss it. That's right. You don't have 
to uh, be under the wrath of God, but you can miss it. In his day, of course, the salvation was to get in that ark. That's right. Get in the ark and you would be safe from the flood. But the door of the ark is still open, so to speak, today. And that ark of safety is the Lord Jesus Christ. When we accept him and what he has done for us at the cross, then we don't have to face the judgment of God that is coming upon this earth. And then we don't have to stand before God on judgment day saying, you know, that we didn't accept him, that we are still in our sin. So that's why it's so important to pray and ask God to forgive you of your sins and to accept him into your heart and life as Lord and Savior. And if you've never done that, you can do that right now and you can know for sure that you are ready for heaven and your life is secure. So why don't you pray with me? Simple prayer. Just say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on that cross as payment for my sin debt. I believe he raised from the dead on the third day, and he is alive now and forevermore. And I confess with my mouth, Jesus as Lord and my Savior. Yes, I choose to turn from my sin in my own way. And I trust you, Jesus, for a brand new future. I receive forgiveness, pardon, and eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer, I want you to know that God heard you and you are now a born again child of God. It's time now to begin growing in the Lord, learning about your heavenly father. And I wanna help you do that by sending you a free gift. This is a, a little book that uh, has been a blessing to me through the years, and I've given many, many of them out to others. It's entitled The New Birth, written by Kenneth E. Hagen, who's my, uh, one of my spiritual mentors in the faith. And this tells you about what the new birth means and uh, all about salvation. Many, many scriptures in it you can look up in your own Bible. And so for yours absolutely free, all you have to do is call me right now and let me know that you want me to send it to you. That number is 888-429-2280. It's toll free number, 888-429-2280. Now, when you talk to someone, just say, I prayed with Brother Mike on the program to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord, I would like for you to send me that free book entitled The New Birth. So call me right now, 888-429-2280, and I'll also send some more literature and information about the ministry and other literature that'll help you grow in the Lord. And I'm just excited because I know many of you made that important step to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord. If you're in our local area or you're passing through, we're having another big concert right here at the Good News Fellowship Church, August the 5th. I'll be singing and my special guest will be Shallow Creek Bluegrass Gospel Group from Picayune, Mississippi. You don't want to miss this gospel music all evening long. Bring your appetite because we're going to have some kind of good old country cooking as well. We have stuff like fried chicken and, and jambalaya. I don't know what's on the menu yet, but we always have something good. And I always know we're going to have Barber's World Famous Coconut Cake and uh, as well as other pies and pastries. So be sure and come out and be with us August the 5th. For more information, go on our website at mvmgoodnews.com or give us a call. We'd be glad to help you with any more information. We're located at 13101 Highway 442 West, Tickfall, Louisiana. And we do have a map on our website if you've never been here before, and that will be a help to you. Now, if you're in our local area, we also want to invite you to come out and be with us for one of our regular church services. We gather together every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m., for special worship services. And that's where we praise and worship 
our Lord Jesus Christ, and we have uh, a time in the Word where I preach and teach the Word of God. So if you enjoy the presence of the Lord and the manifestation of His grace, His peace, and His power, then you will love it here at a Good News Fellowship worship service. 10.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. And if you need more information about that, we have it all on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. Now I want to share with you about our special CD offer. This is our Master of the Wind music CD. And I believe we have about 10 songs on this CD that will be sure to edify and encourage you for your gift of only $10 plus $5 shipping and handling. This is for this month only for July 2022. So call me right now at 888-429-2280. That's 888-429-2280. Call us with your credit card and we'll send it right to you. Master of the Wind Music CD, or if you want to send a check in the mail, you can do that as well at... Uh, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466 is that address. And our television viewers, of course, you can see that on your screen right now. I want to say a special thanks to our partners. It's because of you that we can do what we do. This out ministry, outreach ministry is made possible by your prayers and financial support. So partners, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so faithful and so generous. Because of you, people are being encouraged, people are being saved and blessed by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're watching or listening today and you hadn't become a partner yet, please pray about doing so. If this is a ministry that's blessed you and you want to help us to bring the gospel to other people, then that's how to do it, by becoming a partner praying for, sending a donation each month, and we send out a special letter and a devotional as well as special product offers as well. And so for more information on partnership, just give us a call or go on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. Now, I never like to close without saying a special prayer for you and your family, especially if you're experiencing difficulties in your life and you need healing, and you need help from the Lord, God loves you more than you know, and He is available to help you now. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friends and my partners and all our viewers and listeners today. Lord, I ask you to make a way where there seems to be no way, Lord. I ask you for miracles in the lives of your precious people, financial miracles, uh, social miracles, whatever they need, Lord, you are the need meter. Heal the sick, strengthen the weak, set the captives free by your power and anointing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I believe the Lord is touching you right now, and I want you to continue to trust him because he is able to do everything that you need him to do. I'm going to leave you with a song today, and I know it will bless your heart, so you just sing along with me, enjoy this song, and I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. Well, he's a great big God, and he lives in me. Where truth is given and liberty, so let all sickness and sorrow flee. Cause he's a great big God, and he lives in me. Well, once I walked in darkness, the light I could not see. Satan and his plans of sin. They had a hold on me But then I asked my Savior To forgive me all my sin And then a greater power It came to live within And he's a great big God And he lives in me Yeah, truth he's given And liberty so let all sickness and sorrow flee Cause he's a great big God, he's a great big God. And he lives in me 
Well, Jesus whipped that devil 2,000 years ago. He told him to his face, you're going to let my people go. Now you don't have to cry on your knees and let him get you down. Cause greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. And he's a great big God. He lives in me. Yeah, truth he's given and liberty. So let all sickness and sorrow flee. Cause he's a great big God. He's a great big God. And he lives in me. How many believes he's a great big God tonight? Well, if you are in trouble, maybe sick in bed, don't accept that bad report as your final say. Because the precious stripes of Jesus that were given long ago still promise you the power to be made completely whole. He's a great big God. And he lives in me. Yeah, truth is given and liberty. So let all sickness and sorrow flee. Cause he's a great big God. 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 And he lives, lives in me. Yes, I know he lives in me. Yes, amen. How many believes it tonight? Amen. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana. 70466 or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I'm singing the good news.